Hello and welcome to the How To Craft Network studio. My name is Tony Darek and you've come to the right place if you are wanting some inspirational content. Now, the sole focus of these shows is to inspire you in one way or another using your fabulous HSM products. So it's just another way to get creative, another way to get interactive and a great way to get involved in and make new friends and chats and giveaways. It's just a great, great show where we can all share the love of craft. My name is Tony Darek. You may have seen me over on the HSN shows, um, which is absolutely fabulous. But if you are tuning into this channel for the first time, you don't need to have HSN products to watch our shows. We love to share the love of craft. If you have them, amazing. Maybe you have something you can craft along with. Now, I will do a shout out in a second. But if you are watching for the first time, please subscribe to our channel. We are live every Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern time, 11 a.m. Pacific time. And if you are hopping in from the UK, it is 7 p.m. in the evening. Now, we have a dedicated show right now for our lovely USA fans or anybody that's purchased HSM products. But I do go live immediately after this show for our UK um, fans and at 8 p.m., which will be 3 p.m. Eastern time, 12 o'clock Pacific time. Equally, if you want to hop into the next show and come and say hello to our lovely UK fans, we'd love to have your company. So either or, you might be here for the next hour or you might be here for the next two. But either or, I'm hoping to um, encourage you to dig out the products you've bought from me or maybe go and get a cheeky buy over on HSN. Now, the two products that I have picked this evening are two of the favourite, my favourites. But I do try and change it up a little bit. And if I do see any um, goodies in the clearance, I always let you know because I think it's great when we get a bargain. Um, but I have just checked the HSM website and they have five flexes on everything. So you can, um, if you do like anything that I'm showing you, you can check out the five flexes, okay, which is wonderful. And sometimes I have capped postage, free shipping. But today it is five flexes. So if you are interested in any products, you have that facility if you need it. But my products are high quality and super affordable. So you probably don't, but you can make that decision yourself. So if you would like to subscribe to my channel, please do so. And if you like the shows, please give us a thumbs up. Now in the live shows, this is the art of cardistry where we're basically around a virtual table just having fun together. But if you do like any of the shows, please let us know and drop a comment underneath this video when I've gone off air because you could be in with a uh, chance to win one of the one of the products that I use today and if you like and share well we are live now share the love of craft with all of your USA fans uh, friends we do a live giveaway giveaway in the show as well so we do always do two giveaways one live in the show and one afterward for anybody that comments underneath our video so it's a great way to get involved ask any questions um, if you've got any questions or you've got the products and you love them then let me know I do see that lots of you have left five star reviews on our products over on HSM, which is wonderful. Honestly, when I go through my products and I see all of the five star reviews, I am incredibly grateful. Not that I'd expect anything less because again, like I say, we are affordable and we are really high quality with our products, which sets us apart sometimes from other brands. So let's do a shout out. So we have Pam Simpson. Pam's gonna be here for two hours. We have Carla Warner. We have Michaela again, back with us. Thank you, Michaela. Jane Davison, um, Philippa Marshall, going to be watching both shows, helping to get through COVID. Oh, um, let's have a look. Um, Kristen V, hello from Kansas. Welcome, Kristen, lovely to have your company. Mom King, hello. Uh, Philippa Marshall. Um, so if you can share, brilliant, but don't worry if you can't, you will still be put in for a chance to win. But we are trying to grow our um, 2 p.m. show with you, uh, lovely ladies and gentlemen, over across the pond, because it's really important to me that although we have that QR code on the back of the packet, which is really unique as well, it's nice to see a familiar face and maybe ask some questions if you're not familiar with the product or ask me to use them in a different way. And one of the products tonight I've asked, been asked to demonstrate twice, so I'm going to do it. I think this is probably the last one I'm going to be able to do on this one because it's the Halloween um, ghost dyes, which is wonderful. So we have Denise. Hi, Denise. Lovely to have your company again. Cheryl Ann. I have several stamp sets that I love. Well done. So if you do get our products from HSN and you love them, please make sure you leave the reviews. If, well, if you don't like them, let me know your feedback regardless. Um, we do like to um, learn, learn and live, as we say, with our craft. 
But um, yeah, so let's do a, a deep dive into two wonderful products. Now, let's just move these out of the way for a second. So like I said, I've picked two products. I've picked, let's go through this one first. This is the Halloween one. We'll come back to that one. But I've picked this one. So this is your lovely, lovely uh, poppy kit. Now, this is a really, really beautiful kit that's just got such a wave of colour in here. So in this particular kit, you get a, a paper collection, which is red and yellow. You get an incredible HD 3D embossing folder, and I'm going to show you this this evening. And you also get a wonderful sort of poppy stamp and die. Now, if any of you have got any of this and got any makes, make sure you share it in um, the Stamps By Me USA page or the Eureka fan page. We'd love to see your makes, okay? So this is this one. And the item number for this one, if you like what you see, is 839554. And this is a steal. It's a great price at the moment. It is $27. $27 for all of this lovely lovely price so I'm going to do a quick little demo using this let's show you the papers has anybody made anything with these already because I thought tons of you have all but already bought it so let's show you these papers so we have the reds the blacks the yellows the gray tones really really artful in design very true to stamps by me you get that watercolor finish on there and it is really going to put a wow factor on your cards with that touch of black as well so there's your paper collection this one's six by six it's 200 gsm and it's uncoated which means you can paint on it stamp on it do do all of the good stuff with that one so um that's the paper pad then we have our embossing folder now i'm going to dive straight into this one um everyone because this is a super super cool set so let's just move this one out of the way when you get your packet home you do get an insert in here with the qr code on as well which is super cool because that's going to take you to all of the inspiration using this kit now first of all i've run that embossing folder through on black and i just want to show you how wonderful it is if you want to paint it up add a white add a gold whatever you want to do it looks tremendous so let's just set this aside and I think we'll go, so I'll do half white, half gold, just to show you um, how cool it is. Yeah, let's do that. You wouldn't obviously do this in your card making, but to show you as an example, to show you how cool it is. So here we go. So I have run this through my machine. Super easy. It's struggling to see it there a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll just pop a piece of card over. And we'll just do half of the design in white and then we'll do half the design in gold. And then you can make the decision what you actually like. <laughs> so let's just tap off this white here. So you only need a little bit of white. I'm just going to lightly add the white and then you'll see the design pop through. Now it's not a choice of in this kit, you get it all. That's what I love about the kits. So don't forget if you've got any kits from HSM, look at that. I mean, it doesn't need anything else. It's stunning. Let's just pull, pull it over a little bit more. I feel like I've been tight on one side. <laughs> uh, so if you've got any of the kits from HSM and you've come to a little bit of a brick wall with them, Monday nights, well, Monday afternoon for yourselves is a great opportunity to ask questions and ask me if I can dig out such and such from um, HSM and um, we can have a play together so that is it in white so you can see that depth and dimension in there it's absolutely incredible so let's do the other side gold just to show you the difference so i'm just going to spot this off here take the excess off on my finger here and i'm just going to lightly rub onto this surface here and it'll pick up all of that wonderful detail <laughs> going onto the white a little bit. In fact, shall we go actually onto the white? It's looking quite cool. That's quite cool, doesn't it? It's giving it like a ghost effect. 
So this is an A2 card, so you can see the size. The embossing folder is A6 as well, so you can see what sort of design or size you're working with here. Let me just put, um, pick this up for you so you can see. So hopefully you'll be able to see all that wonderful embossed detail in there. Now all that needs now is like a little sentiment. Let's just grab a sentiment just from my staff. I mean, it is two colours, but... Happy retirement. Just shows you how easy this card collection comes together. So that's the embossing folder in the set, okay? Super, super cool. So let's just set that aside. Just move that out of the way. And then let's have a look at the stamp and die. Now I have some already pre-cut here. Now let me show you some samples first of all, because we have such a variation of samples here from picking up a brush to just black and white to adding it in with the papers. You're going to see a whole wave of different ways. So if you do like a particular card, pause it, take a picture on your phone and then you'll be able to replicate it yourself as well. Or you can rewind me or even more so you can mute me if I, if I talk too much. <laughs> so let's have a look at some of these wonderful samples. In fact, I'll pull them in from the side because they can look a little bit busy. So this one's quite beautiful in the sense it has a little bit of just sticky ink and gold foil attached to that one there. So you can see, I mean, look how different that one looks to this one. So this is using the papers and that lovely pop it stamp and outline die. What about a totally different colour to get a different feel with the flower? It doesn't have to be poppy if it doesn't want to be. This is sort of like um, the embossing folder with a lovely bow on here, which from our previous cut tied with a bow, which is also available on HSN as well. So that's a, like a little bit of soft, soft mixed media. The stamp with the ink in there. Now, don't forget to share the show. Even if you're watching from the UK, make sure you share the show. Look at this one in the gold emboss. Wow factor, hey? Here's another one of those cards with the swiping on there. Maybe a little gift card, book, wallet with those incredible papers. A little tag in there. So you can really, really jazz them up if you want to. Look at this one that's got a bit of sparkle on there. That's that yellow. I will have a check on facebook in a second and have a look at um your comments on there too i try and make sure i give everybody a shout out look at this one Oof. nice card hey and i'll show a few more look at that one you've all gone quiet now do you know how i know you all gone why you've all gone quiet because you're all looking at the samples you are so predictable guys so predictable there's that lovely embossing folder. Here's one just. So let me just show you these. These were my examples for live HSN show. So let me just show you these ones. So this was one in like a gold. That's that embossing folder. Then like a sil a white. And then a like um, a rusty colour. And then like a blue dingy colour. So it shows you they all work beautifully with one another. So there's just a handful of the samples which I'm keeping in my HSM bag because if they want me to demonstrate that one again, I'm ready to go. All I need to do is book a flight. Easy as that, you know, get me on a flight. So just pop that one there. And let me just show you um, some of the things that I've already gone ahead and created. I'm going to do a full demo on the Halloween one because I appreciate time's running out on that one. But I just wanted to run through this one as well because I think this one is such a pretty, pretty one. So I have here some of that lovely paper from the set that's within the kit as well. And I've just cut it and popped it onto a little card here. Now I have options. I've created myself some options. Now, instead of stamping it out in black, I heat embossed it in silver. And it looks totally beautiful in um, heat embossing. I'm thinking a Christmas card already with these, maybe with some Christmas papers. It looks like a Christmas rose flower from the top 
But if you cut a second one and sparkle this one up and you pop it offset, you really do get that 3D sort of design where you can twist and make it look as real as you possibly can on the design there. Look at that. Really, really pretty. So I did that one in silver, but whilst I did that one, I wanted to show you one in rose gold too. So this is a sparkly one as well. So again, I took two and I fussy cut the top one and you can manipulate that design. You can absolutely swap out. So you've got a bit of color coming from the back on there. If you want to, you could layer it three times. So you have the white and the red, get that 3D look if you want to. Totally up to you. So let's um, decide. Silver, I think I'm going to go this colour because it matches with the red a little bit better. There we go. So I'm just going to pop this on here, just in the centre of that flower there. And I like to offset my work a little bit. So I'm just going to, and I like to always bring up the edges, give myself some, some 3D, not too much height, but a little bit of interest on there. And then this one, I have popped some pads behind. And I think I'm going to offset it this way so it looks really 3D. I'll just give that a second to grab. And then all I need to do is just grab a sentiment. One sentiment and let's go with this one. Love you. Late again, Pat. What are you playing at? Come on. <laughs> Carla says she loves the red one. Me too. I'm just going to pop this one on here like so. Just hold that in place there. And then I'm just going to give this one a little bit of a twist up as well, just to give myself just a little bit more dimension, but not much height, but a little bit of definition. And then you could go in and colour the leaves green if you wanted to, to really give it that realism. But I quite like it white. I don't think you have to be a colourist at all for this one. And there we go, just a cute, simple card. So when I pick a winner today, I always send a product and some finished cards as well. So make sure you share if you can. So share to the groups where they enable you to share the love of craft. Okay, so that is in a one short demo, the lovely Poppy collection. Now, if you like that one, 839554. It's really super deal, is that one? So, check that one out if you like that one. Um, let's just pop this one to one side for now. Right, let's do a Halloween set. You've, I had several requests for this one, uh, and I think this is probably going to be the only opportunity to do it before time runs out and it passes by. So, Let's just clear my station here. Now, I'm not going to make a card. I'm going to make like a little treat type style box for this one. Now, let me just show you some of the wonderful samples for this one. And we'll do a full demo on this one. So this one is big. And if you check out the reviews on this one, it's wonderful because when pe I love it when people get a nice surprise. And if you check out the reviews on this one, one lady, the last review in particular, has popped on there. I never realised how big these were. Incredible, incredible value. Um, you can make great A4 cards with these, and you totally can. So let's show you this one. So this one is the Ghost Character Card Kit. Don't forget, if you are interested in getting them this evening, they are on five flexes on HSN up until midnight tonight, I believe. So 848566, and it's this one here. It's big. It, I mean, look how big my mat is. It's big. Now, all of our UK fans, please don't moan that I didn't bring this to the UK. Because they're going to they're gonna beat me up, you know. <laughs> they will beat me up. So let's just move this out of the way. Now, again, as always, you get the QR code. You always get the item number and you always get the contents. Let me just check, make sure I'm not missing any comments on. Oh, I am. I'm missing comments. Excuse me. I'm going to sneeze too. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, Peggy from Massachusetts. Lucia Gash, hello from Long, Long Island, New York. We have Donna on there. I feel like I'm going to sneeze again. I'm so sorry. 
So if you have any questions, don't forget to um, let me know. I'm going to be creative with this one. We're going to create a cool, cool sort of gifty type style thing. So let's show you some of the wonderful samples from this particular kit. Now in this one, you get the light. I mean, look how big that is. So you get your interchanging um, ghost dies. So this outline here is your base layer. And then it is totally up to you how you want to create your ghost, whether it's going to be Jasper, Matilda or Luna. So you have a ghost um, pattern, you have a mummy and you have a cat. You also have a trick or a treat and then you have tons of embellishments. You have a broom, a, a tail for the cat, a spider web, a hair bow, a bat bow. So if you really want to dress them up like in this picture here, you can totally do that. The great thing about these those guys is these arms cut free so you can pop a dollar in there, you can pop a treat in there, you could pop a thank you note in there if you wanted to do. Totally, totally cool. Right, so let's get cracked on. Let's move this out of the way. This is super affordable as well. Right, and then also in the set, you get, keep pinning between, glitter card. And again, the reviews, it cuts like a dream. Absolutely, it cuts like a dream. It's been tested within an inch of its life. So you get your sparkly glitter card. I mean, come on, look at these colours. So you get your sparkly glitter card, you get the pink, the bronzy gold, the green, the silver and the black which is totally cool. And then you get a set of vellums. Now, I'll just um, get these out. Now, the vellums are in here because I felt like if you wanted to cut the mummy or the ghost in your vellums, you could really, really create that ghost-like finish on your cards, which would make them very hazy, very moody. So you have bats, you have ghosts, you have spiderwebs, you have pumpkins with hats on, and then you have your traditional checkboard in there as well. So you get so much in this particular kit. So let's just pop these away for now. Set them to one side. Right, let's have some fun. Is anybody feeling spooky? Oh. Nobody's feeling spooky right now, are they? Have you all got your witch's hat on? <laughs> right. Let's have a look here. So ahead of time, excuse me, I'm just going to have to blow my nose after sneezing because... Uh, it's gone funny with the blue roll. <laughs> Sorry about me. Martha says, I love these. I cut a lot of the characters and plan to have my grandson help me decorate them with the embellishments. That's a great idea, Martha. Don't forget to show us what he makes. We'd love to see him making something. That's really cool kit. It really is. Right, so I have already cut two of the exteriors which is that wonderful outline die from your kit here, okay? And let's just bring mine in here. So I'm going to go white. white. I think we'll do two different characters, so I'll just get in mine here. So let's find mine. As you can see, I never throw any of my offcuts. I, look, I mean, look at this. I am so tight. I don't know if anybody else is the same. I don't even, because I think I could get a ton of bat bowls out of them. <laughs> My nose is going crazy. What have you all done to me? Just one second, let me just sort the nose. That makes fantastic bunting. It did, it does. And I had a demo, sorry, I had a sample of that on uh, HSN down the front and I forgot it. I didn't even... Oh, just love just put my foot in it there. Design team didn't know, but I left it on front at counter and I flew home. I forgot about it. So somebody's got some nice back bunting somewhere. In fact, she's on. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. She's on. <laughs> right. What character? Shall we go with these two? Because these are the first two that came out. Let's get some white card. I'll show you how to get a nice shadow as well on this bat one as well. Uh, sorry, this mummy one, because it's quite cool. So I'm just going to pop this on here. Let's cut it to size. So it was mine and she's laughing. Thank goodness she's laughing and not doing the angry faces. And it took you ages, I know, Sue. Oh, it was wonderful, though. It did look so cool. When I was dressing my set, I was like, yeah, my set looks cool blowing my own trumpet inside my own head. But if anybody saw me talking to myself, they're like, she's one funny onion. 
Right, let's pull this in here. And let's get our mats. Now let's just see if there's any more comments on uh, Facebook. Oh, some more comments. I don't want to miss anybody out. Vellum, woo. Another one from Long Island. Welcome, sweetheart. Lovely to have your company. We will be picking a winner live in show too. So I'm just getting my die cutting plates here. Let's cut this one first. And let's run this one through. Super easy. Can't throw card bits away, I know. Mind you, I know that I don't have a bit box, but I do save bits and pieces like that in my little wallets. I like to be organised. Karen never throws hers away, she just tears them. She tears them very well, she's better than me at it. Right, so here we are, look. This is the ghost. So his arms pop up so you can pop a gift behind, look. Super, super cool. So I popped on air, if you remember my demonstration, I popped some money in the hands of the ghost on this one. But you can add a colour behind here so he has a coloured face if you want to. Um, you can talk... It, the interactivity of this particular set, you can create over 50 different designs if you interchange, even more actually, if you interchange the embellishments, the exterior die with the interior die. So many, many options. So I'm cutting two because I'm going to do like a little treat box type style thing which is super easy to create okay don't be overwhelmed by it i'm not gonna start throwing measurements at you not complicated ones anyway so let's just put that to one side oh there he is look look how cool he is now you could paper piece if you cut it twice you could paper piece these bits back in so you've got like sparkle whatever you want to do those bits could be paper pieced back in. And again, he has the arm facility to pop things underneath as well. So let's just move this one out of the way for now. This is my first ever Halloween set, guys. And do you know, I think I knocked it out of the park, or at least I felt like I did, because I absolutely had so much fun creating it. I was so excited to showcase it. And it did really well, which made me very happy. So I'll just pop this on the back here. So I have our sparkles from the same set, so you don't have to dig your stash out. You can absolutely go for it. So when you come to matte and layer them, look how cool, that, how cool they look. I've gone for two different colours here, but of course, if you're doing a colour theme and you have some nice paper in your stash and you want to do it all the same, then you can totally do that as well. So let's glue this together. So if you are popping a present underneath, stay away from the hands, particularly these parts here, because that needs to raise up. So, isn't it cool how three dies go round one, like mat and layer? That's what I like about this. The interchangeability is incredible. So let's just pop this down here. And I'll just grab my block, stick that on there off front now, and then we'll just do this one. Martha says, you absolutely knocked it out of the park. I didn't do bad, did I, Martha? I really didn't. As you can see, look at that. As you can see, now I've got a shake. Do you know, this is my fifth show with you guys. It's not new anymore. Come on, Tony, get a grip. Still shaking. Honestly. Mind you, it took me five years to drop the shakes on UK TV, so you're going to have to stick with me, guys. <laughs> oh. Let's just move that onto there. There we go. So look at our lovely ghost. Isn't he cute? So adorable. And then his hands pop up proud. So if you want to cut some of the embellishments in the set, so let's have a look what embellishments we've got here. Now I could have a cute bat bow. I love the bat bows. I think they look so good. We could have a spider web. Could I do it so he's holding a spider web? Shall we cut a spider web?
pop out all of the bits. Just see if no, I don't think I have any of the black sparkle left. I'm gonna have to just use normal black, which I'm very sad about. <laughs> and we'll just pop this on here. Let's put this one down. So this is just to show you how they how good they embellish as well. So I would probably say if you get this home. Cut all the embellishments in lots of different colours. Create say, a little pile, then cut a ton of the animals, animals, the ghosts, the creatures, and then build them all up together and then decide what's going to be what. Because you can make great shaped cards with these. If you do two and glue it to the back, you could do like a shaped card. Could be holding a name if you want to, like a, it could be a name placement on a table. If you're having that party, because I know I do understand it's celebrated um, really well in the States, so... If you have parties and things like that, you could absolutely go to town. And they're big. They're not like one inch. In fact, let's show you how big they are. Let's have a look how big they are, die cut. That's the beauty of this show. We get to have an in-depth look at our products. So this one is five by four. You see he's there? Just shy of five, just shy of four. Lovely, lovely design. So let's just move that to the side there and let's die cut this lovely spider web we'll run this one because jane's got serious envy i'm sorry team i did bring the stamps to you all though as a as a test to see if you know it was going to be well received i didn't leave you out completely i'm just going to push this back and forth once or twice there we go We have a cute spider web. So now we can be holding a spider web look underneath his arms. Let's raise them up a little bit. You could have a spider web bow. Huh? <laughs> I took that in there like so. And you have the word trick or treat as well. So I'm just going to pop a bit of glue underneath there. It's like, I am trying to be spooky, but absolutely, I am the cutest ghost mummy in the world, let's face it. Shall we do one on this one to match? Very quickly, and then I'll show you how to make a cute treat box. So if you are crafting with the kids or for your, for your local community or you're getting together with your friends and family, you can absolutely personalise your, your things. Which sets you apart from everyone else, doesn't it? So let's just cut this one through. So they're both going to be holding a, a spider web. And we have another one. You have the patience to paper piece. That would look cool. I'm just going to pop this one in this one. So if you are watching for the first time or you are in the USA, don't forget to sign up for my newsletter. That gives you the heads up when I am live. So if you go to the How to Craft Network, which is my website, and sign up for my newsletter every time I'm live, um, You'll get an email on a Monday, like I sent an email out yesterday for today. So you'll get an email giving you that heads up to say, hey, I'm live. Um, and then you're never going to miss a show, are you then? Which is cool. So there's our two characters. Now, the complicated bit, well, I say it's the complicated bit, it's absolutely not. So let's show you where I've got this from. So just move this to the side. So here I have a piece of card. I'm just going to show you how big it is. So it's if you are making notes... It is six inch long, two and a half inch deep. Now, I work in inches, 
But if you work in centimetres, it's 15 centimetres by 6 centimetres. Okay, 15 by 6. And I'm just going to show you a simple way to make these into a cute, like, gift box idea. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my score tool, because it's in, built in my cutter here, but you get a scoreboard if you want to. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it in my score here, and I'm going to score at one and a half. Not cut it, Tony, score it. So one and a half. And I'm going to turn it around. And one and a half. And then all I'm going to do is do it um, portrait. And I'm going to score at half an inch. And I will tell you the measurements in a second. In centimetres for those that like to work in centimetres. So half. Turn it round and half again. And that's our box. <laughs> You're all like, really? Yeah. As you can see, the score lines are on there. Super, super easy. So let's have a look at... Um, yeah, so one centimetre and... One and a half. It's, I always work in inch, so this is how I look at it. So the piece of card is 2.5 by 6. I'll leave this in shot. Super easy. 2.5 by 6. I scored at one and a half. Turned around. One and a half. And then half an inch down the side. And you'll see how quickly it comes together. I'm just going to snip into this. To that line. And then snip into this, to this line. So if, you, if you're doing one of these, do a, do a few, okay? So I've just snipped on those lines, and then let's just score. So you've got something that looks like this. Super easy. And all I'm going to do is... <laughs> so all I'm going to do is just glue this up. I don't think it matters if you glue it on the inside or the outs. I think we'll glue it on the inside so it looks neater. So glue here. And glue here. So let's do one side at a time. I'm just holding that in place like so. And tilt it forward so you can see. I'm just holding it till it grabs there. I'll just give this a hold. You can see now how it's glued up the side there. Super easy. Hey, isn't it good that we're on actual um, YouTube now? You can pause, stop, rewind, watch again. Isn't it wonderful? I'm just making sure that grabs on both sides. And then we'll do the same with this one. So same with this one. Christine B, I can't believe this set is still in stock. I thought it would sure sell out in the first few days. I know you are lucky. And the, the, the thing is, I can't, it doesn't tell me just by going on the HSM website how many's left. So I can't tell you if there's 100 left. I can't tell you if there's 10. I don't know without looking at my portal. But I did just take a look and it is still in stock. So if you do like this set, it's such a good price as well. It really, really is. The value is impeccable. Right, so there we have our lovely sort of like crate, whatever you want to call it. And then all we're going to do here is, you see here, I'm going to pop one to the front and then one to the back. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to glue this. I'm 
Now you can use a tape pen. And I'll pop my mummy just there. Now you could make him flush to the base if you wanted to, like so. I'll give it a push in there and a push in there. Hold it in place. For a trick, I always, Jane, put a joke in. Put a joke in. Get a cheeky joke. Oh, Elaine said, unfortunately, Tony doesn't get enough demo time. It will be gone soon. I know. I'm working. Elaine, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So um, I think you're going to see, see lots more of me definitely next year because we're celebrating two years on HSN. And I think, I think we're, 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 we're sort of like showing growth and showing hard work, determination. So hopefully um, they'll start giving me a little bit more time. In fact, I'm confident they are going to. They have told me they are going to. So... Bit of a patience game, but you know, it's better to grow organically and correctly than go whoosh, and then have to come down the hill. That's how it's worked here in the UK for me, just an organic growth for the last 11 years, taking it steady, step by step, good things, bad things, mistakes. And I think that's how it's going to go in the USA. So, and I've got lots of time to um, do it. So, I just do this one. So this is the glue on the back of this one, and this is the Mummy Ghost. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to line him up on the same. And I'm just going to pop my finger inside, make sure they're about level. He needs to probably come a little bit higher. So now we have some cute little... Table. Ta -da! Now, if you make the base, you know how I've just made it like for a chocolate or a gift, you can just see in there. Now, if you make the base a little bit fatter, you could pop a little tea light in there so it flickers on the table. So if you wanted to do something like that, if you use the vellums on here instead of cardstock and you popped a tea light in there, it would flicker through the vellums giving you like that ghost-like feeling as well. Uh, Caroline, Christine V, do you enjoy the travelling? Uh, do I enjoy the travelling? It plays havoc with my skin, you know. I don't know what it is, but um, it plays absolute havoc with my skin. I don't mind it. It's tiring, but, you know, I just love craft, so I would pretty much do anything, really. There we go, look. Isn't it? Isn't that cool? So let's just put some things inside it then because I do have a few bits and pieces from the design team um, when they did their bit. So like this one has a peanut butter cup and some chews. So you could just see here, if you just pop them inside, I mean a little bit smaller. So you could take them out if you wanted to so they're not in the bag. Pop some tissue down by the base and pop a few different goodies in there. So then you have sort of a lovely little treat. Don't forget you have the cute bat bow. So you really could go to town and create something quite magical. Although they're not scary at all. I do appreciate that. But who wants scary? Nobody wants blood and guts and scariness. <laughs> all the church members decorate the trunks of their cars and fill it with treats for kids to dress up and go from car to car. Oh, I would love to be part of that, Elaine. I would love to be part of that. That is wonderful. If only we did anything like that here in the UK, that would be wonderful. But could you imagine like your boot full of different on different levels in your car and everybody took like a little little treat box? I'd be like, I'm not eating. That's too nice to eat. So there we go. So that one is the wonderful um, Jasper, Matilda and Luna die and paper kit. Absolutely huge. The item number for this one, 848566. I think it's about $30. Now, the die is worth way, way more than that. Just the die. It's huge, okay? So, eight, four, five. Sorry, let's bring in the, the list before I say it wrong one more time. Eight, four, eight, five, six, six. So, did we all enjoy that demonstration? Yes. Yes. You did, you did. So, two tonight, pop it and the Halloween set. Now, please remember and please pop it in your diary or please click that notification button because unless I'm on UK TV...
on a Monday, which I have now said I can't really do Mondays on TV because I am really committed in giving you this airtime to go through the products and give you a little in-depth view because eight minutes is not enough on air. So I will be live 99.9% .9 of the time on Mondays, 2 p.m. Eastern time, 11 a.m. Pacific time, just for you. So if you can click that thumbs up, if you can subscribe, please let all your crafty friends know as well. If you can share it in groups without getting in trouble, that would also be awesome as well. You know, let's share the love of craft. So let's have a look who our lucky winner is this evening. Now, if I don't say your name, don't worry about it. Pop a comment underneath this video when I've gone off air and I pick a second winner. I always pop a comment underneath your name on the um, chat to say you're the second winner. So um, whoever's won now, I need you to send me your address to um, info at Stamps by Me or you can find me on Facebook, Tony Derek, and give me your address and I'll get your items sent straight out. Is there anything else I need to tell you about before I announce the one lucky winner? So um, I'm live again in 10 minutes. So if you want to come across and join and interact with our UK fans, you can totally do that. We welcome you all with open arms um, so we can all be creative together. The winner of this live hour is Debbie Cantwell. Debbie Cantwell, you are the winner of this evening's show. Well done, sweetheart. I'm going to post you a lovely, lovely set of the Poppy Collection with um, a handmade card just for you and thank you so much for taking the time to tune in so um that's the end of this evening's show i'm live again in 10 minutes so hop out of this one on straight into the next one grab a cup of tea a glass of water whatever it may be and let's get creative for round two with our wonderful products from us here at stamps by me well done everyone i'll speak to you all in 10 minutes bye